Say, what's this? Looks like something out of a nightmare, doesn't it? And it could be if you dream of bats. Shakespeare described this little creature as a fit ingredient for a witch's brew. But actually, the bat is a friendly little animal who does much to benefit man. Contrary to popular belief, the bat is not a bird. It's a mammal. And it's the only mammal on earth that flies. But like other mammals, it bears its young alive and suckles them at its breast. This is typical bat country. Only a bat could feel at home here. But rents are reasonable and bat apartments easy to find. That is, for bats they are. Scientists spend long hours searching for the bat hideouts. The main object of their interest is the bat's remarkable abilities in flight. What is it about the bat that enables it to fly safely in the dark? The real purpose of our experiment is to find out how the bat manages to avoid objects when flying in darkness. So, in setting up an obstacle course, we see to it that the bat's wing spread far exceeds the space between the crossbars. Only by clever maneuvering will he be able to fly between them. Now, we cross our fingers and hope he'll do what the book says. Watch this. Bats are not blind. They have eyes and they can see. So let's blindfold the bat and put him through another test. Now we know that the key to the bat's success in avoiding obstacles is not his ability to see. Well, how does he do it? Science has known for some time that bats emit strange cries in flight sounds that cannot be picked up by the ordinary microphone. They're far beyond the range of the human ear. But a special high-frequency amplifier, tuned to 32,000 cycles for this particular bat, translates these inaudible sounds into sounds we can hear. Through numerous experiments, science has also learned that the bat's ears are extremely sensitive to high-pitched sounds. And so the question arises, can the bat's own cries be signals that guide it in flight? Well, let's tie the bat's mouth closed so he can't make these sounds and see what happens. You know, it just might be that here is a creature that can get into trouble by keeping his mouth shut. Science now knows that these amazing little creatures are guided in flight by the echoes of their own signal cries. And that's actually a kind of radar. Mid-air collisions are unheard of in Batland. Although thousands upon thousands of them fly wing to wing through the darkness. We know now that the bat was using radar long before it was even a dream in the mind of man. Obviously a part of an intelligent plan. But, uh, whose intelligence was involved? The bats?